Today is America's National Day of Prayer 2021. The National Day of Prayer has been around since 1957 and it's an annual day of observance held on the first Thursday of May all across our nation. This year's theme, Lord, pour out your love, life, and liberty, can be found in 2 Corinthians 3, verse 17. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. No matter where you are right now, will you please join me in a word of prayer on behalf of our nation. Heavenly Father, we come to you this day and ask that you be renewed in our spirit. Father, please help us individually, help our families, help our communities. Father, help the life of Antioch Bible Church and all churches proclaiming your name. We pray that we continue to stand on your word uncompromisingly. May we proclaim you in boldness and in truth. We lift up the United States of America and we pray that your Holy Spirit will one day return our nation to be united once again. Father, we lift up the world to you and any person who has never accepted you as their Lord and Savior. Father, help believers reach out and touch our world for you. Father, forgive us for our lack of faith, and for our turning away from you. Please renew a right spirit towards you. Oh Lord, heal our land and please start with the healing needed in our hearts and in our lives. We look to you for your guidance. May your way become our way. All of our prayers this day are made in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, and all of God's people would agree by saying amen. We encourage all of you to seek the Lord in prayer and meditation today. We thank you for your partnership in ministry. We thank you for your partnership in the gospel. I want to remind all of Antioch that our senior pastor, Herb, has called on our church to fast on Saturday, May 15th, from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Our purpose is to pray for salvation for all of those lost here in the Pacific Northwest. You can fast for a day or you can fast for a meal. And please, by all means, drink water that day. Please refrain from fasting if you have any medical conditions. The scripture that we're standing on as a church is Ezra 8.23. So we fasted and petitioned our God about this and he answered our prayers. Thank you, Antioch. God bless you, family. Have a wonderful day in prayer, and we look forward to seeing you in fellowship this coming Sunday. Goodbye, my friends.